Hey guys, DB Roy here, and welcome to another skate tutorial for you guys who have never, either never picked up a skateboard board in your life, or maybe you're getting back into it, or maybe you've seen your kids on skateboards and now you want to be part of the fun too. What, whatever it is, this video is for you. Now, last time we went over picking your first skateboard. Now, whatever your preferences is, maybe you are an adult interested in learning some tricks so maybe you went with the street option like I did or perhaps you got a freestyle board or um, which is more for learning freestyle tricks which even though I got a street set up I do like freestyle tricks um, and of course there are long boards, cruiser boards, surf skates pretty much these days, sky's the limit to your different types of skateboards. So, okay, so after picking whichever board it is you pick, just a quick something that I forgot to go over last time is that before you start riding it, you want to make sure your board is set up to your liking. In other words, you want to be checking your trucks and making sure that they're tight enough or that they're not too tight, or worse yet, that they're too loose. If they're too loose, you might have a little trouble balancing. So, what you'll need, you'll need to buy a skate tool, which you can get at any skate shop, and that'll be useful for tightening up your, your trucks, as well for taking your wheels off when you need to remove the bearings and clean them. At least in the case of, in the case of a street setup. I don't... I don't know so much about the other types of boards because I'm not really familiar with them. But yeah, you need to make sure your board is set up for your own comfort. So, with that we'll continue where the previous tutorial left off. Alright, so for right now, as promised in the last tutorial, we're going to do some downhill riding. Although, I'm only going to use this um, slight little hill here for um, the demonstrations. To be honest, I'm not feeling the best today. But, still drag myself out here and by golly we are going to do this tutorial. And there's another reason why I'm using this not very steep hill. The point is, when you are ready to start going downhills, do some downhill riding and skating, you you don't want to pick the steepest hill, hill in your um, neighborhood. You, like, same when you're learning a skateboard trick, or um, at the skate park learning an obstacle, learning how to skate an obstacle, you want to start off with the smallest obstacle possible and work your way up to it. If you try and take, a, take on a really steep hill your first time out there, to, to quote the um, skiing instructor from South Park, you're going to have a bad time. And we don't want you guys to have a bad time and be all, I'm never skating again. No, we want more people on their boards. So, you can you can start by, um, if your driveway is built on, built on a bit of a hill, you can maybe practice going down that into your, into your garage. Or um, out into your street, depending on how the driveway is built on a hill. Which I suppose if it's going out in a street, at least you'll get some practice riding off a curb as well. Which, to be honest, for me, that still creeps me out. <laughs> so you see, I'm not the best skater in the world. But that doesn't stop me from having fun, now does it? So alright, so... Without further ado... I'm going to go down this um, slight hill right now and um, demonstrate a technique called carving. Now, what carving is, is basically, it's um, a sim similar technique to what you see surfers do, how they carve in, in the waves and turn their, board, their surfboards in the waves, or how snowboarders zigzag their way down a snowy hill. The bottom line is, it's um, a way of controlling your speed, because when you go downhill, you are going to pick up speed, and you're going to pick up speed fairly quickly. Carving the board will um, help you with controlling your speed, 
and also will prevent what we call speed wobbles and or um, deaf wobbles. Now what a speed wobble is, it's basically when you're going on a going down a hill and while you're going down the hill your board picks up that much speed that starts wobbling like that like really really quickly it's it's scary I'll never forget the first time I experienced um, speed wobble I was lucky I didn't fall and um, get hurt and hurt myself pretty bad so I began looking up YouTube tutorials on how to go down hills and learned how to carve which it's pretty easy I'm going to demonstrate that right now now all it is it's just basically leaning from left to right as you're going down the hill Now obviously this hill's not steep enough to give me um, speed wobbles, but you can see how much more in control of the board I was from carving from left to right. Now in the event you start going down a hill and you start picking up that speed and um, you, um, you get scared or forget to carve, you can always bail like this. So I did that, I jumped off the board and kicked it behind me. So yeah, as long as you remember those couple of things, you shouldn't have much problem with um, going down hills. Now, the other thing I want to quickly get into is where can I skate? Where should you skate? Now, firstly, should I be skating on the footpath? Now, I know quite a few people do, and, um, well, I think it depends. If you've got a street board like mine, I wouldn't recommend it, because with footpaths, the terrain changes all the time. Now, unless you're um, really used to obstacles and good at ollieing over things, I wouldn't really recommend skateboarding on the footpath because all it takes is that one obstacle you don't see, that um, crack that's sort of on a risen level, and you're getting knocked um, off your skateboard and going flying and hurting yourself. So me, when I cruise around, I prefer to cruise on the road. I can see all the obstacles on the road no problem. And there are um, surprisingly less hazards. You've just of course got to be careful of cars. Now if that's if you're not comfortable with that um, well I suggest just put your put your skateboard in the boot of your car go for a drive and see if there's some smooth concrete areas where you can cruise like um, like a waterway parklands kind of walk sort of deal or a park walk you you might find there's some smooth concrete there with, that you can skate where there are no hazards or of course you can go to a skate park however I can understand that since you've only just picked up your skateboard you might not want to go to the skate park right away and I can certainly understand that. I barely go to the skate park because skate parks can be quite intimidating, especially ones that skaters themselves don't actually build. Like a lot of the skate parks um, in my area were not built by skaters. You can tell because they've got um, ridiculously 
hard obstacles that a beginner can't really do. Like, they've got like these really big half pipes, you know, a first time skater is not going to drop in on. Something like that. They don't have, um, they don't have any beginner obstacles that, that are really good for progressing. So I could, I could sort of understand that, but you, you do find the, um, odd one every now and then that's, um, suitable. So I don't want to discourage anyone from going to skate parks. Definitely do. And, um, if you do meet some other skaters, they can help you progress further. If, um, going to skate parks is actually a thing. Like I said, you might just, like I said before, you might just only want to cruise around on, on your skateboard, not do, do any of that stuff. And that's fine too. That's fine too for, for three, nearly three of the four years that I've been skating, that's all I did. I basically got into learning some tricks and flat ground tricks because I, I was beginning to realise that I was missing out on quite a bit of fun. In le learning those. Speaking of tricks, I'm going to give you a bit of a trick right now. Now, this is another method of turning your skateboard. It is called the kick turn. First, we're going to practice these stationary. Alright guys. Now, a kick turn is pretty much this, which can be handy if you say you're lean turning a corner and there's a, a wall there but you're not quite going to make it, you can hit the wall, you can kick turn and avoid it. It's good, it's handy for sharp turns. So to do the kick turn is that, well, basically you lift your front leg a little bit, a little bit of weight on your back leg, and you simply use your body to, to rotate. So for now, like I said, just get on your board like this and practice some stationary. And it'll take a while to sort of get used to it. It took me, it took me a while when I was first learning these. And don't try to do 180 pivots, which are these. Or these, I should say. Just start with little turns like that. Once you get used to it, then you can start going for bigger turns. <laughs> so, need me to get on and do it again? So, see so yeah, it? Definitely practice with some left turns. So I go like full circle. Then do the same for the right. Just little turns like that. All the way so, basically, that's your homework tonight. So, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and um, hope to see you guys back here for the next one, and just above all, remember, skateboarding is supposed to be fun, it's all about fun, as long as you're on your board and having fun, then, you know, it, do it doesn't matter if you can, um, if you can, you know, skateboard like Tony Hawk or whatever. It's um, it's all about fun. So um, yes, if you if you're on the board, and you're not enjoying it, then maybe skateboarding's not for you. All I know is I have a lot of fun doing it, and it's um pretty much the only form of exercise I'll ever do because it's fun. So. So this is DB Rye, thank you for joining me and we'll um, be back again for another. I might leave you actually with one more trick. And yes, to, to some people a kick turn is a trick. 
pretty much when you're a beginner, everything you learn is basically a trick. Even pushing the skateboard and learning to ride you could consider a trick. Anyways, one little bonus trick I'm going to leave you guys with. Now this is the first skateboard trick I ever learned. I believe in the freestyle world of skateboard, this is called a rail stand. At first you want to get your board to go in a primo, which is when your board is like this on the ground. Now, easiest way to do that is this way. The tips of your toes, pinning the tail down. My right foot is basically in line my back wheel and I just bend it down like that and then step up onto it now make sure you bend your legs here that's going to keep your balance yeah. now I don't expect you to do the whole dismount yet just uh, practice standing on this I mean I can't even do the dismount properly I sort of cheat and do a fake, fake sort of Casper looking thing. See? Sloppy. <laughs> so, um, yeah. The good thing about doing little tricks like that, it's to help you guys develop comfort for your skateboard so other tricks come easier, such as the ollie and other things like that. Until you're comfortable with your board, forget about ollies. Start experimenting with um, little easier freestyle tricks like that.